Hello, my name is Animal Harsing, and today we'll be talking about doing a literature review. So once you've done your literature review and you have a whole pile of information, well, obviously not literally a pile because you probably won't print uh, the articles like I did before the internet, uh, but um, you um, have a whole host of information, you will find that within this set uh, of articles, there are different types of papers. And this is what we'll discuss in step six. So there are several key types of papers. First of all, the review papers. They review all of the literature to date in a particular area. As I mentioned just before in step five, um, I spent a month reviewing uh, the literature on typologies of multinational corporations and then found a paper that had done exactly the same. So it's really worth your while to try and find review papers. They will save you an enormous amount of time. So try to find the key outlets in your field that actually publish review papers because many journals only publish empirical papers, so papers where there's actually done um, empirical data collection. Review papers only review the literature, so there's no empirical data collection. Um, find the key outlets in your fields. Uh, in my field, for instance, they are the International Journal of Management Review, uh, the Academy of Management Annals, uh, but there are different sources in different subdisciplines of business and management and economics. So talk to your supervisor and figure out what the key sources are in your field. So review papers, very, very important. Then the second type of papers are what I have called star papers. Star papers are papers that are cited repeatedly. That means that other authors have found these papers particularly useful in their own research. Star papers are often review papers because review papers tend to be cited quite frequently, but not always. Again, you can ask um, your uh, supervisor whether he or she is aware of particular um, important papers in your field, the papers that everyone wants to cite. Uh, but you can also use Publish or Perish um, to do this. In order to do this, um, you look at the total number of citations, but you can also look at the number of citations per year, because obviously uh, um, journal articles that are older will have more citations than journal articles that are younger. So uh, journal articles that have only been published two or three years ago, but already have a lot of citations, are what we call hot papers. These are papers who've really stumbled upon a topic that's really important. So when you uh, do some trial uh, searches in Publish or Perish, also try and find the column citations per year. We'll show, uh, I'll show you how to do this if you haven't figured it out in the session. And then in addition to review papers and star papers, there are also what we call model papers papers that can be used as a template really for anything. Um, you might use them as a template for how to write a good introduction, especially in journal articles, but possibly even in your thesis. Although in your thesis, the introduction will obviously be a lot longer than in a journal article. Um, you can use model papers for particular research strategies. So the type of research design um, you'll be using. You can use model papers to uh, establish how to do a particular analysis, which steps you need to do in the analysis and how to report on them. You can even use model papers to uh, write up the limitations of your study because there's a, a particular set of limitations that comes back in most empirical papers. So again, try and identify papers that are really good papers and that do all of these things really well. So you might have one article that does all of these things really well, or you might have a set of articles, um, some that do the introduction session really well, others that do the analysis really well, and yet others that do the limitation section really well. 